Hey guys, welcome to another bike vlog. And today we're gonna do another bike check. Now with another folding bike that's in the classic um, kind of look. We're gonna take a look at the Bickerton Junction 1307. So this is the profile that you're gonna get with your Bickerton folding bike. Of course you get 20 inch wheels, you have a steel frame as well. And you have that kind of classic um, kind of look overall. You have that kind of silver trims that makes it look more uh, classic configuration. And you do get uh, that kind of color, this uh, like a pearl white kind of color. So actually when we first um, saw these in the store, um, this is the best color that we have chosen because yeah, the, the color of the white um, just looks more upscale, just looks more sophisticated. They were able to you know find a white color that's more of like a pearl color. And yeah, it looks uh, just uh, really, really nice. And you do get um, Shimano um, 7 speed as well. And you do get cranks that has a chain guide as well. And you do get also um, brown trims at your handlebars and also your saddle as well. And here we do have some upgrades. Um, so we put some bags on these, um, some pseudo you know, leather um, kind of bags. So yeah, definitely more of a classic you know, kind of configuration. And what I like about 20 inch wheels is of course they're really versatile. Of course, you know, bigger wheels compared to your 16 inch wheels and it's a little bit more comfortable to ride. So for potholes, it's a little bit better. And definitely um, the comfort is there. So yeah, uh, for me, a um, really nice looking bike. So definitely when we ride with this, uh, we definitely get the looks. It's a different um, look compared to your other bikes. And what I like about you know classic kind of designs is it will last the test of time. So maybe after five years, ten years, it will still be relevant. It's a you know timeless some um, kind of look, and that's what we like about these. So let's take a look at you know more details. So let's take a look at the cockpit first. So in terms of shifters, you're getting Shimano Revo shifts. So of course you need to twist them to and from. So of course compared to um, the 360, you have more gears here. This is 7 speed, so of course there's more versatility in that sense. You do get uh, non-branded um, brake levers. So actually in the more expensive version, you do get you know Avid brake levers. So that's uh, one of the main difference. And of course you do get uh, kind of more comfort grips in these. So these are really you know comfortable to ride for a long um, you know um, bike session. But this is not made of leather, it's more of a plastic you know kind of build. And on the other side as well, you do get some comfort grips as well. So actually for us, we changed up the uh, brake cables to Shimano ones because the original one is not that good. So for me, yes, definitely you would want to upgrade your cables. So the brake action is a little bit smoother when we put this kind of cables. And uh, yeah, you have telescopic handlebars as well. So you can you know adjust as you see fit depending on your preference. And uh, the advantage of these over, you know, your 360 is you can also adjust the height of these as well. So definitely, yeah, if you're maybe a taller, you know, kind of biker, you can adjust this as you see fit. So that's uh, really cool. And here at the bottom, yeah, you do get, uh, of course, your handlebar post. That's uh, kind of a silver kind of trim, a classic kind of look. And uh, actually, when you, you know, go inside, it's not that, you know, shiny polished um, kind of silver it's actually more of a kind of a matte silver uh, but yeah definitely there's still some shine to it um, here you have that clasp and uh, this actually just a kind of a one um, one motion clasp as well it also holds in place nicely so you know you can fold and after that you can lock so really fast in these and then when you lock it it's definitely a substantial you know kind of locking mechanism and that's nice and you do have a lock here as well so you can lock your handlebar so yeah it will be more safe for you you're getting that logo bickerton logo and we are getting on uh, the more expensive one you're getting actually a block here so we didn't um you know get the one with the block so it will be up to you if you kind of like that or not of course if you have a block it will be uh, more versatile in a sense you do get also some reflectors as well in front and the mud guards also that's black in design so um you're getting steel frame and also steel fork as well and here you're getting the kind of silver trims with your wheels and of course 20 inch wheels on these and looking at the profile as well um so it's a, still a pretty you know fast tire but you're getting definitely that ridges for puncture protection and this is the calipers and the v-brakes 
it's also a generic but if you uh, buy the more expensive one you're getting branded as well but yes uh, we didn't have an issue with these um you know after changing the brake cables we didn't have a major issue but again uh we might change the rubber to more grippy ones um so actually this is an upgrade so it doesn't come with the water bottle holder at the start you need to buy this one and yeah it fits you know even you know bigger uh, water bottles because there's pretty sizable um length so yeah this is a pretty big water bottle around 750 uh, milliliters and you're getting also the clasp with again a lock so this is kind of the trend so it's kind of a quick release kind of thing so if you take it out so this will fold at the middle so this is a bifold guys so compared to the 360 that's a tri-fold um this is just a bifold so in this for the folding motion it's a little bit bigger compared to your 360 so looking at the saddle we're getting a full leather saddle so it's quite soft but definitely um the more expensive version is softer compared to these uh but uh, but yeah when we rode it it's it's not that big of a difference but it will be kind of up to you if you like that or not and you're getting metal seat posts as well for that classic kind of look and here you are getting your um seat post clamp as well so this is actually pretty uh tight so yeah it's not that easy to move to and from so you do get a junction 1307 um indicator and you're also getting the kind of flag and mark b as well so yeah kind of british uh, kind of look overall that's what they are aiming for here in the crank you're getting a silver kind of design as well again more of a classic kind of look and you're also getting a foldable pedal as well and uh, yeah it works uh, but i would definitely upgrade these to better ones here at the back you're getting a rear rack included with your kit and yeah we are able to put um, two bags in these side by side and these are for your jackets uh, for the rain and then at the back this is where we put our lights and also our reflector as well and you do get mod guards again so uh for our rear derailleur we're getting shimano parts a uh, seven speed as well and that's the gear sizes that you're gonna get it's actually not that big in these so definitely it's more geared towards um maybe an urban commute and something like that but yeah we did try to climb uh, with these in the mark suspension so we were able to reach there definitely it will be a little bit harder uh, but uh, yeah you have seven speed so it will be kind of up to you if that's okay for you or not you can upgrade it if you want so here at the other side just one minor detail is there's a magnet here so this will uh, be the one to secure your folding mechanism to this part and yeah here at this side we're getting another bag as well this is the look yeah definitely looks good and the white looks cool as well from the outside because yeah it's a classic kind of look so let's try to fold it right so this is now the bike unfolded down so definitely not you know the most beautiful looking fold and also um take note guys actually for the saddle we did cut the seat post because uh, yeah it's too tall for the one who's using it so we did cut it down so yes uh, the vibe the bifold definitely looks a bit different compared to your tri-fold so yeah uh, it's not that symmetric but yeah this is what you're gonna get still folds pretty small i'd say but definitely that's still really cool that's the fold that you're gonna get so still pretty small in a trunk of your uh, car maybe you can still fit this in and that it what is that is what it looks like all right all right so that's our bike check of the 1307 Bickerton so yeah for me it's one of the you know best looking bikes uh, folding bikes around because it's a classic you know kind of look actually it's not that expensive as well it's around four hundred dollars so definitely cheaper compared to the 360 uh, but you're getting the 20 inch wheels you're getting a pretty you know nice paint job you're getting that classic kind of look and uh, you're getting that nice platform for you to upgrade on in the future mud guards a rear rack as well so definitely you know um from the get-go it's pretty functional uh, but yes you know it's not the best performing bike it does look the part so if you're a casual biker you might be okay with this especially if you like the looks 
Um, of course, if you're a more intermediate biker, you would want more performance in your bike. So you might consider maybe getting the uh, more expensive version, maybe the 1707. So those, you know, have uh, better parts, better brake levers, avid levers, um, better gears as well. And it also has dynamo as well for, you know, night light. So yes, uh, definitely if you want more performance, there's more versions. This is just an entry level version. But for us, uh, you know, being casual bikers and for the one who's using this, this is uh, already very good for her. So yeah, uh, no problems on that. That's our bike check on the Bickerton 1307. If you have additional questions, um, let me know down in the comments below. And of course, if you learn something, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And of course, yes, I'm just, you know, starting out as a biker, but I do want to share with you guys our experiences here just to, you know, help you out in your purchase decision. So if you're into that and if you have additional questions on folding bikes in general, let me know also down in the comments below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next bike vlog. Goodbye.